Hello guys and today we have here a very amazing, very crazy, just weird, awesome deck and there's no better way to call it than Pendulums, I feel, or maybe Performers, that might be a more better name, um, possibly, but this is a really crazy deck, it has Draco Slayers, it has Performer Pals, it has Performage, it's been wrecking the OCG and it's gonna come to the TCG and it's gonna be the big deck of the format, but before I get right in, I do want to say that for some reason with me, Clash of the Draco Rivals doesn't seem to be working. And I don't know why. And so, took it out of the deck, made room for three upstarts. So, if it's Clash of Drake Arrivals working for you, then plug it right in. Just take out the upstarts, put in two or three. Um, that's up to you. And so, just want to point out that Clash of Drake Arrivals should be in the deck, but you won't see it in the duels. You might, because it was working and now it isn't working. So, there might be a couple duels where you do get to see Clash of the Drake Arrivals. But, anyways, let's go into the deck profile. Two Master Pendulums and two Luster Pendulums. So a lot of people like to only run one of him, but I like this guy a little bit better than uh, the Luster Pendulum because he can be used to make Infinity while he cannot, or he can be used to make Rathlesesia. And so I just like him a lot better, just have, so I feel that having two is really good. And you only really need this guy as a tuner to make your Synchro. That's like the only thing that he can do that Master Pendulum cannot do. You can use him for the Fusion, you can use him for the XC. Uh, Draco Slayer. So to me, this guy's all the way has more utility. And you really aren't going to be attacking with these guys either way, and they both don't really have an effect other than this guy is restricted. So you'd rather would you rather have a normal monster or um, effect monster that has restrictions in what you can do with them? I'd rather go with the normal monster. And of course, so that way we can use Clash of the Draco rival, uh, Draco Ruler the Vector Pendulum. Is the pendulum effects really aren't that necessary. You're gonna be using them for rank four plays, of course, and the whatnot. For our performer pal engine, we have Monkey Keyboard. When activated that turn, you can search for a performer pal. We have Joker, of course, and he will win normal summon. He's a strato, so you can add a performer pal. And then we have Pendulum Wizard, which is when he is special summoned, you can target two cards on the field, destroy them, and then add two performer pals with different names from the deck to hand. Performer Pal Lizard Draw just for consistency. You can go insanely plus, you can draw two cards if you have Guru Turtle, which is every time a Performer Pal card is activated in your other Pendulum Zone, draw one card. So you can draw one off of him and then one off of Lizard Draw. And so you just a lot of consistency, a lot of the whatnots to make really awesome plays. And that is it for the Performer Pal engine. Just really great at pumping out monsters and the whatnot. Uh, Joke is great for XZ plays to make Infinity because it only gets his effect by normal summon. So if you annual summon him from the extra deck, he doesn't have much of a use. This effect only happens when normal summoned. Iridana, the Absolver, is amazing because if she's destroyed by Battle by Card Effects and you can activate this effect more than once per turn, you can add a counter trap from your deck to hand. Your opponent, you reveal three and then your opponent adds one. So that's amazing. You can destroy her with the Draco Slayers. These cards could destroy her. You can destroy him or her with Pendulum Wizard. So there's just so many ways to just destroy her and get her effect off. Or uh, you can destroy her with the Synchro. It's just crazy how well you can get her off. So you can get her off of her effect a couple of times. Um, you can destroy her with Wavering Eyes if you really wanted to. If you wanted to, you could tr destroy her with Twin Twister. So you can get an effect off multiple times and end your turn with four back row. I'd recommend like <laughs> uh, three solemns and a wiretap. Uh, Trick Clown and then Plush Fire for a performance engine just to help out with XZs. You make Infinity, boom, now you can make Raphaelizia really easily. If this card is destroyed, you can summon out Trick Clown. So that is something really nice. And if you have to XZ summon with him, it's not the worst thing in the world because you can always summon him out with Trick Clown again, although it's probably better to summon um, Trick Clown instead. And then Lizard Draw and Giri Turtle as we went over. Clash of the Draco Isle. Clash of the Draco. I can't speak today, guys. Wow. Clash of the Draco Rivals. Um, that is what the upstarts are supposed to be for. So reveal one Draco Slayer and one Draco Ruler. And boom. From your deck. And have your opponent randomly choose one of them. And either place it in your pendulum. Bomb. You really don't want to do this. Because you want to make your synchros, your fusions, and your XEs. Or special summon it. And then add the other to your pendulum so to your pendulum deck. So pretty much 
just a great searcher gets rid of two cards from your deck really really amazing but it doesn't work on death pro right now so to the upstarts uh, two wavering eyes this card is really helps out a lot um i don't like one three because i feel it clogs and so maybe the third in the side it's definitely very helpful when facing other pendulums just being able to banish one card on the field and doesn't target so screw you magi specters um so it has great utility um and then yeah just being able to search for whatever you can get this card's effect off you can search for this card because sometimes you may not see it and so being able to search for that could be very very useful and then uh twin twister this card this card's amazing especially when you're going up against Aeronauta, the Absorber, this card is definitely necessary. Because being able to search out three back row or going up against um, just a whole bunch of back row, this, or just pendulums in general, this card is better than MST. Yes, you have to discard a card, so if you top deck it, it's dead. You can't use it. Well, in MST, you could MST something, um, destroy their scale, and then if they draw into a spell, they can't pendulum summon, of course. But this card is overall better. Because just blowing up two back row is amazing. Getting rid of a complete pendulum is amazing. And when we don't have Excitonite, because Excitonite just got banned, um, you need to have something that can get rid of multiple cards. Yes, you do have to discard one card. You have to. That sucks. But it definitely... I don't think people are going to be running MST with this card legal and with Wavering Eyes legal. Um, because those are just going to be better cards. Wavering Ice is better at getting rid of pendulums than Spell Shouting Arrow, Fairy Wind, and the whatnot. And Twin Twister is better at getting rid of back row than anything else right now. Because we don't have Heavy Storm. I'd much rather see Trunade come back though. Trunade, I feel, would be way more balanced and wouldn't affect everything because it would give one turn. Otherwise, everything's back. Just one turn to make your play and then everything's back on the field it doesn't destroy yeah it resets stuff but you can only get monkey all these guys you can only do once per turn except for her for the most part and yet no oh, no this guy you can reactivate and use his effect again so there are some stupid combos if Trinade came back but like I really don't think that would be too much of an issue and heavy storm would just be too stupid everybody would run starlight road people might run starlight road just because of twin twister so yeah, I don't think Heavy Storm or Duster will ever come back. True Nate would be the much better choice. Uh, we run two Trap Holes, Bottomless and Time Space. These are really good against Pendulums. Time Space can be very costly. If they do a massive Pendulum, that can cost 5k, 4k, or 3k life points. So you have to be really careful. And then Bottomless is Bottomless, of course. You just, it can get rid of everything and banish it. Like a lot of the, the stuff you're going to be Pendulumming, such as Joker, Wizard, the Draco Slayers, they're all above 15, they can be bottomless. And the course for the counter traps, the Great Horn, the one wire tap, the three solemns, and the one warning. Wire taps, just a great card to search out, because if you reveal this card, they're gonna give it to you. Like 9 out of 10, or probably 11 out of 10, they'll give it to you. And so it's just great, You all, if you open up with two, you can destroy Aeronauta once or twice. Search out that wire tap. Make it so that way next turn you can get off your play. Um, because you may not see Twin Twister. And that is it for the main deck. Um, a lot of combos go on with the main deck really crazy. Let's go on to the extra deck. Nyanaster, the powerful, mighty Draco Slayer. He is amazing because Pendulum Monsters cannot be destroyed, period, pretty much. So he is awesome. Pendulum Zone, Pendulums in the Pendulum Zone, Pendulum Monsters cannot be destroyed. And you can spell summon a Draco Slayer from your graveyard. Spell summon a Draco Slayer from your deck. And then destroy you can destroy your Drake, destroy a pendulum to bounce a card. Doesn't target, goes back to the deck. Amazing. And then the this guy will search during the end phase for any pendulum monster, and you can detach to summon a Draco Slayer from your extra deck. So the combo you want to do is you want to make this guy first, then overlay into him, detach to summon out another Draco Slayer, make him to summon out the monster you detached, and boom, you got all three. And then another monster on the field to maybe make a Raphalesia if you summon out this guy. And the whatnot. And they're all very powerful. Being able to bounce, being able to protect, being able to search. It has everything covered. And then of course you have to infinity, negate whatever you want, and have a one-on-one -on -one effect. Trapeze Magician to attack twice. Because why not? And then the, all the monsters you need to make them out. And Castell. Castell is probably the better one. 
Um, and then Raffles easier, you make her and you can use Time Space or Bottomless from your deck by detaching one. So it just makes more back row. It's a really big threat because people will think, oh, he has Treacherous Trap Hole. So it'll make people really scared and make them play very uh, differently when you don't have that. And I don't run Treacherous Trap Hole because really it's dead 9 out of 10 games or you don't get to use it. So either you don't get to use it or it's dead. So I just don't like to use Treacherous Trap Hole, even with her making it easier to do. And so that is it for the deck. Um, very, very crazy deck. Um, the meta is going to be filled with this, but I do think there are going to be some decks that are going to do very well against this deck. We just have to see, who knows, maybe Maja Spectres would be really good because they have all those counter traps. Um, it's just really crazy, we won't know what the format's going to be like. I've, You guys will see a duel while I lose against your Senju Psyframe, because the guy just kept on attacking directly. And so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this duel. Uh, duel. Hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.